everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video which is a pack with me for a city break. When this video is live, we'll actually be in Barcelona. I'm going with my boyfriend's family for my boyfriend's dad's 60th birthday so I'm really really excited. It's going to be my first like abroad holiday in what feels like forever with like the pandemic and everything so yeah, really excited to be going to Barcelona. I always enjoy watching other people's come pack with me videos. I just like seeing what outfits they're going to bring, what accessories and everything so I thought that I would film on as well and I'm going to be showing you some outfits, some designer handbags, some shoes, some designer shoe dupes as well actually which you might have spotted on the thumbnail. And I'll go through some other stuff as well, skincare, hair care, um, jewellery, makeup, that sort of stuff so you can see what I'm taking to Barcelona. So I really hope you enjoy the video, please do subscribe down below to stay with me for more videos, leave me a little like and a comment and next Sunday will be the Barcelona vlog so make sure that you are here for that. But firstly, how cute is my new cabin case? I absolutely love it. I saw it on the Dunelm website when I was browsing the other day. I love the cream colour matched with the brown accents as well. I feel like it just looks very luxury holiday vibes, but like quite vintage looking but also really glam as well. And I felt like it looked way more expensive and high end than just Dunelm. It was only £40. So I'll leave it linked down below in case you want to treat yourself to a new cabin case as well. So I'm going to open it up and start packing and I think I'm going to start with shoes first as I've got a lot of new shoes that I want to show you and also the designer dupes as well. Just opened it up and the inside is just as cute as the outside. I love how it still all matches on the inside. You've got like the cream netting and you've got the brown crisscross strap there as well. I just love my new case. So I'm going to start with shoes first and since we're going to Barcelona, obviously it's a big city and um, there's going to be a lot of walking and like sightseeing and things so I'm going to have to opt for more of a comfort option rather than like a stylish glam option but isn't it good when you get comfort and stylish all merged into one? So here are my new June sliders which I absolutely love. They're from ASOS and they were meant to be £85 but I think I got them for around £30 which is amazing. Good quality as well, really really comfy and they are such a good dupe for the Hermes sandals. Like they look so much like the Hermes sandals. I'll try and pop a picture of the Hermes sandals and the June sandals, sliders I should say, sorry the sliders not sandals. Um, I'll pop a picture of both of them on the screen now so you can see how similar look and obviously the Hermes sandals are like a fortune so I thought these were such a good dupe to kind of create that stylish designer look. Perfect for a city break you know when you've got like your handbag and a lovely outfit so I just thought these were such a good buy. I also got a pair in white as well just for when brown isn't always the right colour choice so even though they're the same style shoes <gasps> See, this is what I mean, I end up bringing too much stuff, like stuff that I don't even need. Do I need the brown and the white pair? Let me know down in the comments. I also picked up these two pairs of sliders as well after seeing my friend on Instagram, Kat, share them to her story. She was on a city break as well and recommended these shoes and they were literally £10, £10 each. So I thought that was such a steal and I've tried them on and they are really, really comfy actually. And because like they're quite affordable, you're not so bothered if they get scuffed and things. Like when you're walking around a city, you can just order a new pair because they're only £10. I got a pair in black and a pair in white. And I don't think I need to take these white sliders if I'm taking the June sliders. Or do I? I definitely need to take the black, so I'll pop those in. But do I need two pairs of white sliders? <laughs> I feel like I also want to take my two pairs of Converse as well. Even though like I'm quite like a girly girl, like really girly fashion, I don't mind wearing trainers and Converse with dresses and skirts and things. I actually quite like the look of it. Quite like a nice chilled but still girly and cute look. And I need a white and a black pair depending on the outfit. So I feel like I'm just going to put them on the floor as like a baby. And then I might just sort it out. I'll see if I can fit any in Jake's case as well because I feel like I just need all the options. And then I am just going to take one pair of heels and these heels, honestly, I think I've spoken about them before on my channel and on my Instagram. I swear by these heels. You need to go onto the link down below and buy yourself a pair of these heels because these are from Lindsay Shoes and they are such a good dupe for the Valentino Rockstud shoes the rock stud sandals they are just amazing like 
they look so similar. I'll try and pop another similarity photo on the screen for you to see now. I've been wearing dupes like this for years. They are perfect. They don't hurt your feet at all. I wore them to my cousin's wedding and I lasted the whole day and night and my feet didn't hurt at all. And if you go on the website, they do loads of different colours, but I just like a classic nude kind of colour as it will just go with loads of outfits. I've also got a black colour as well to go with black outfits, but I feel like nude just goes with everything so i'll definitely be taking these for when like we might go to a restaurant at night or you want to feel like a little bit more glam so that's it for shoes i feel like i'm definitely going to have to do some narrowing down because i cannot take all those pairs of shoes but I'll, I'll sort it out after this video. So now I'm going to move on to the handbags that I'm going to bring and show you some of my designer bags because I don't think I've ever shown um, my designer bags on here before. Let me know if you'd like to see like a designer bag kind of video, like close ups and things because I can definitely do that. And I've also got a new bag on the way from not a designer company but a luxury company. So this first one is one that I use so much, especially in spring and summertime. It literally goes with everything. It's from Saint Laurent and I got it from my parents for my 21st birthday, so I've had it quite a while now. Here it is, love the colour of it. We'll go with like loads of the white and the brown and the nude shoes that I've got packed already. So I feel like this is a really good bag to bring. It's just got the YSL logo on the front, nice and simple. I don't like anything too flashy when it comes to designer bags, so I really like that. So yeah, I feel like that one is definitely definitely a good one to bring so I will definitely be packing that one. I feel like I also want to take my Mulberry Lily bag as well. It's just like a classic black bag and it's I really love this bag and it's it's lasted so well. I think I've had this even longer than the YSL bag but what I really like about it is it's just classic Mulberry again nothing too flashy but you can tell it's Mulberry with like the clasp and everything in this little tassel here. But what I really like about it is you can just have it as like an everyday bag like this with the long strap or what I do when I'm using it as an evening bag is double up the strap like that and have it over your shoulder like that and it's just cute to have like with an evening outfit with your heels and everything it just looks a little bit more like evening vibes rather than day vibes so I've had it for years and it just doesn't seem to get like tatty or old or anything it's just really really hard wearing so absolutely love that and I really like how it's got the gold hardware as well so it'll go with all my gold jewellery that I'm loving at the minute so yeah definitely gonna have to pack the black Mulberry Lily as well so I feel like those two bags will be fine the YSL and the Mulberry will go with most outfits whether I decide for like a lighter coloured outfit or a darker coloured outfit those bags will be fine but I feel like I'm so tempted to bring my Kate Spade bag as well. I treated myself to this when we were in London, Jake and I, just before COVID hit and everything. So I haven't even had a chance to properly like show this bag off. I absolutely love it. It's so cute. And what I really like about it is you can take the strap off. I won't undo it, but you can take the strap off and just hold it as like a little bag like that. I feel like it looks so like French chic vibes. I love it. Or you have the option to wear it as like a crossbody bag as well, which looks really cute too so if I've got space I'll bring this one as well but if not she might have to stay at home. So next I'm going to move on to jewellery and same with jewellery like with bags and shoes and clothes to be honest I like to have options so some days I might go for an all gold jewellery look some days I might go for an all silver some days I might do a bit of both so I like to have options and luckily I've got a stackers travel jewellery case which allows me to take lots of different types of jewellery so I'll show you up close now. So I'm just going to sit down for this bit um, because it seems a bit silly like showing you the jewellery from that far away so what I'm going to do is take jewellery out of my like everyday jewellery box. This is also from Stackers. I love Stackers jewellery boxes. If you don't have one you need one because they're just so good. Mine's looking a little bit tatty now so I was actually thinking of asking for a new everyday jewellery box for my birthday as I've had this one for literally years like years and years but so so good. So I think this is the base one which comes with that little clasp where you just lift it up and I mean mine's a bit of a mess please don't judge me you've just got all your jewelry in there different compartments I really like like these ones for like rings and stuff and then I've also got another compartment this is actually so hard to lift up another compartment which I use for earrings and then I've got one on the bottom which I think actually looking at that I actually forgot what the bottom one looked like I feel like I'm going to move that one to the middle one because I'm running out of space for my rings and I feel like I'm going to put all my rings there so I'm actually glad I'm filming this because I didn't actually realise what was in the bottom of that. <laughs> and then in the travel stackers, it's really cute. It's pink as well, which I love. You know it won't fall out because it's got like this little clasp here, clasped really tight. So you open it up and it's got the four sections there, nice and big. So you can pop like bracelets in there or earrings or literally anything. And then you can open this little section here 
and pull that down and it's like a really big section so what I tend to do is put like bigger things in here that aren't going to get as tangled and then in this section I tend to put like necklaces like one necklace per square so that it doesn't all like get tangled together with the other necklaces so I feel like I want to take both of these Tiffany necklaces this one is oh it's just come off so this one is dead cute I don't know if I'll be able to like do really good zoom in shots but it's kind of just like a silver heart with a rose gold key which I love Jake got this for me like way back in the day when we were just teenagers so I really really love this one and then I also love this one as well I'll see if it will focus so it's kind of like two hearts the first one is just like the staple like return to tiffany heart but then it's got the tiffany blue heart behind it which i think is really cute and i got this in paris when i went with my mum and dad i'm also going to take my gorgeous gold una necklace that was kindly gifted from anna louisa um for the valentine's day collab it's just such a lovely like classic necklace nothing too big nothing too flashy i've wanted a circle necklace for so long and this is gorgeous it's like gold with um, I'm not really doing a good job of holding this jewellery up, am I? It's like gold with silver diamonds on it. I think it's really pretty. And I may or may not be wearing some other pieces from Ana Luisa in this video, but I will be talking more about that next week. So I think that's all the necklaces that I'm going to take. I don't need like too many. Obviously, I'm only there for the weekend. So bracelet wise, I'm going to take my classic Tiffany bracelet. It's just got like the little balls on and the return to Tiffany heart. I'll definitely be taking that one. And I'm also going to be taking this gold flower one from Ana Luisa as well. And this one actually looks really nice layered with my Monica Vinader bracelet as well. I've not got it on today. I've just gone with the Monica Vinader. But because they're both gold, they look really nice paired together. So usually I wear those together. I don't know why I didn't today. Day. so yeah I'll probably be taking this one this one and this one I feel like you also want to take this one it's my black Monica Vinader bracelet and Jake got me this one actually for Valentine's Day it's so cute you can get free engravery on Monica Vinader it says our anniversary date on the front and then on the inside it says I love you I'm like exposing him now but I just thought that was really cute again this is really nice to layer with the Tiffany bracelet both being silver they just match together really nicely since I've got the room I'm also just going to take this as well my black Tiffany bracelet which I don't know when I got actually, I might have actually got this in Paris as well, but it's so big for me, I can literally roll it on without having to do the clasp. So because it's so big, it kind of like dangles onto my hand, so I don't tend to like reach for it, but I think it's so like chic, really stylish actually. I just wish that it was a little bit tighter on my wrist but I really really like it. I'm also going to take this one as well. This one is from Monica Vinader as well. My parents got it me for my graduation and on the inside there you're not going to be able to see it but it says on your graduation which is really lovely. And in terms of rings and earrings I'm just going to take like a mixture of like silver and gold earrings. I've got some gold ones in at the minute and some gold rings on at the minute as well. I'm also going to take a few silver ones when I'm deciding to wear the silver jewellery pieces so I'm not going to show you all one by one but I'm just going to take a little bit of a selection and pop them into my travel jewellery box. Moving on to perfume, I'm not going to go wild, I'm just going to bring two options and because we're like using hand luggage and like cabin cases it's going to be under 100 mil anyway so I'm going to go with this one from Victor and Ralph Flower Balm, absolutely gorgeous scent, loads of you will know how this smells, it smells amazing. My sister got me this as a present last year and it's nearly, well I've used about half of it, it's so so nice. So I'm going to bring that one since we're going on like a city break, I feel like it's very like luxury city break vibes. And then I'm also going to bring this one which is Thank You Next by Ariana Grande and I never thought in a million years that I would ever like a celebrity perfume, like when a celebrity comes out with a perfume you just don't tend to like... I don't know, ever go and want to buy it, I'm not sure, but somebody I work with uses this and it smells so nice. When she walks up the corridor, I can literally smell her and she smells so amazing. So I decided to get it and it's so good and it's literally £20. But yeah, when you're next in Boots or anywhere that sells perfume, like the perfume shop or anything, go and have a smell of this because it honestly smells so nice and it's really long lasting as well, it lasts the whole day. So yeah, definitely a fan of the Ariana Grande. Thank you next perfume and definitely going to be bringing the Victor and Ralph flower bomb as well. So I'm going to put all my liquids and perfumes and things in this little bag um, just because it's see-through. They like everything to be in a see-through bag as well. So I'm going to pop my perfumes in there and then go through some other liquids that I'm taking. Sorry, you can't see my face. So I've got my two perfumes in at the minute. I'm also going to pack my daytime moisturiser and my nighttime moisturiser. I use both from Tropics. So I use the Tropics Skin Feast in the day and I actually mix this with something so amazing. I'm actually going to tell you about it now. So this is also from Tropic. It's called the Sun Drops and you mix a few drops of this 
this with your moisturiser, it doesn't have to be Tropic Moisturiser, it can be any moisturiser, and just like mix it together in your hands and then you put it on your face and it gives you such a nice like glowy tan, I absolutely love it. So this will be so good because obviously I'm going to be fake tanning before Barcelona, so I'll definitely be bringing this as well to mix with my moisturiser. They're all under 100 millilitres, I've just checked. And then I'm also going to be taking the Nighttime Moisturiser, which is the Tropic Skin Dream, which is so nice again, it smells really nice and it's age defying and firming, so hopefully it's going to prevent like wrinkles from coming on my face and things. I'm also going to be taking a few of the Tropic serums to help with like my spots and things like the, those serums you can get them for all different types of things but the ones that I use are targeted for like blocked pores and spots and things which I kind of suffer with so I'll be bringing those so I can do like my full skincare routine at night. I'm also going to be taking some facial sun cream I've never used this actually so it'll be my first time using it in Barcelona it's the Sunday facial UV defense in factor 50 so I feel like you can just pop it under your makeup and your face is protected from the sun then. Also I'm going to be taking my eye cream this eye cream is literally so good I think I spoke about this on my what I got for my birthday video it's by it cosmetics it's the confidence in an eye cream and it is so good it's nearly running out actually I need to get a new one but like I mentioned in my birthday vlog when you put it under your eyes in the morning you can literally see your dark circles disappearing it's so good so i literally swear by this eye cream a few lip balms as well this one is so good if you've got chapped lips this will sort you out my lips used to be so chapped and like really sore actually really sore in the corners really sore like on my bottom lip and my friend who actually worked for clinique at the time recommended this and honestly so good i will never use another lip balm Apart from this now, it's so good to sort out your chapped lips and just keeps them really moisturised. I put it on at night, every night, and my lips are nice and soft and smooth in the morning. And then I'm also going to take this one, which tastes a little bit nicer than the Clinique one. It's by Glossier, and it's the birthdaybalm.com lip balm. I just like to mix and match the two. I'm also going to take my toner and smoothing cleanser, also from Tropic, and I'm just looking, and these are 120 millilitres, so I'm going to have to put some in another bottle but I just don't know what to do about the toner because you kind of spritz that on yourself don't you? Maybe I'll just have to do without toner for the weekend but I'll definitely have to put some of this in a little travel bottle. And then I'm also going to take some hand cream and foot cream as well since we're in a city especially I like to apply some foot cream just because you do a lot of walking and hand cream I like to apply all the time anyway to keep your hands nice and smooth. So these are just from L'Occitane, I really recommend them, so so good for dry skin and keep your feet and hands feeling really smooth. So all of those fit nicely in there and I'll probably just have them at the top of the case just so I can easily like whack them out when it's the security part and yeah, I'm just glad they all fit in this clear bag really nicely. In terms of hair care, I'm not going to take any shampoo and conditioner because I'm booked in for a curly blow on the Thursday night, the day before we go, with my hairdresser. So it will definitely last until the Monday when we're back because my hair just tends to last. I only wash it about twice a week, which... I don't know, suits me because I literally hate washing my hair. But I'm going to take some dry shampoo. I might actually have to get a smaller bottle because this looks way more than 100 millilitres. Oh, oh god, yeah, it's 350 millilitres, so I'm definitely going to have to get a smaller bottle. I'm also going to take my Neil & Wolf Shine & Hold spray for when I add a few more curls to my hair over the weekend. Spritz a bit of this on and it literally lasts for so long. It holds the curls really well. And then I'm also going to take my three brushes, my Denman brush, just for like a classic staple. And then I'm going to take my Tangle Teaser with the handle. I love this because if you just like brush over your curls, it just like gets rid of the knots but keeps the curls, which I love. And then I'm also going to bring my small Tangle Teaser as well, which I like to keep in my handbag in case like it's really windy like a big gust of wind comes and ruins your hair you can just like brush through your knots and it will fit in your bag easily as well and then i also like to take a few scrunchies as well because when i'm taking my makeup off at the end of the day i like to like have all my hair off my face and tie it back with a scrunchie rather than like a tight bobble so that it doesn't ruin my curls and also if i decide to do like a low bun look and like put it all back and have a bit down. I like to put a scrunchie in the back as well just for like a bit of extra detail at the back of my head. So yeah, I feel like a few scrunchies won't take up too much room. Moving on to makeup, I'm not going to go through my entire makeup collection because that could be like a video for another day. But what I will show you is I tend to use this bag when I'm bringing my makeup anywhere, whether I'm going like away in England or on holiday or anything. It's from Victoria's Secret, it's like really dirty and grubby now, but it's still like a really good bag. So when you open it up, it's got two sides. So I tend to put all my brushes in one side and all my makeup in the other side. But more recently when I've been bringing my makeup bags to go and do people's makeups, like my sister-in-law's makeup and a friend's makeup, 
I've got so much makeup now that it kind of takes up the whole of both sides so what I might do is pop all my makeup in here and then maybe use another bag to pop my brushes in so yeah what I might do is use this one for makeup and have makeup at both sides and then I might use this one from Kath Kidson for brushes and maybe have like face brushes at one side and eye brushes on the other side I just like to be organized <laughs> and then I'll probably just decide on one or two eyeshadow palettes to bring I've got a load of eyeshadow palettes that I use I kind of like mix all the colors together when I'm at home because you can just lay them all out out, but I can't bring them all to Barcelona so let's decide what, which ones I'm gonna bring so I feel like I've got to take this one it's nice and small as well but it's such a good staple eyeshadow palette I'll just open it up so you can see that I use it quite a lot especially this side but there's loads of like lovely whites and neutrals really nice browns for like your transition shade and some really nice dark colors as well in case you want to darken your crease a little bit it's literally got every colour you need so I could probably get away with just bringing this one but I'll probably squeeze another one in just in case. I'll probably take this one as my second one. It's quite similar to the Tarte one. So this is my Anastasia Soft Glam palette. Some really nice shades in here as well. A nice white shade for like a good base. It's got some nice sparkly shades. It's got some nice darker sparkly shades for like an evening look. So yeah, I think I'll probably take those two eyeshadow palettes. Jake's just came up to give me an ice cream. I did hear the ice cream van going. He's currently in the garden with his parents and I think my dad was there as well like doing garden things there's a garden vlog coming maybe in like a few months or so like a finished garden reno vlog which will be really exciting but he's brought me up an ice cream so I'm going to eat this have a little break and then I'm going to move back over there and go through some outfit ideas for Barcelona so moving on to some outfits I'm going to show a few outfit ideas that I have and I'm also going to show little try on clips as well and I think in total I need about seven because I need one for traveling on Friday and then Friday night when we get there I'm going to change then Saturday, then Saturday night, then Sunday, then Sunday night and then travelling home on Monday so that's seven outfits at least and then I like to have like a few different outfit options as well so I'm thinking maybe ten outfits I might try and bring if I have the space. So for travelling on the Friday I think I'm going to go for this long sleeve mini dress from Miss Selfridge I got it quite a while ago so I doubt it's still on my website but I just love it, it's such a classic staple, love the colour of it, nice and neutral, but I tend to wear this when I know I'm going to be a little bit cold because it's long sleeve, but I don't mind my legs being out because I can cope with my legs being cold, but I can't cope with the top half of me being cold. So I think I'm going to wear this for travelling on the Friday with my white Converse as well, so that's one less thing to pack in the suitcase, I can actually wear the Converse which will save some space. So when we get there on the Friday night, I think I'm gonna change into this pink milkmaid style dress from ASOS, Miss Selfridge on ASOS. It's a petite version as well, so it comes up to like a good place at the bottom of your leg if you're short like I am. And I just absolutely love this dress. You'll have seen it in my ASOS haul if you watched that, but I think it's so pretty. The color is pretty, all the different shades of pink and the gingham pattern. I love how it's backless as well, and it's like a tie back on the back which I love, milkmaid sleeves which are so on trend at the minute so yeah I feel like that would be a really good outfit for the Friday night and I feel like my Kate Spade bag would match so nicely with this outfit with some white sliders or like the Valentino rock stud dupes so now I think I'm going to have to take the Kate Spade bag after all. But I'll just have to find a space for it because it will just go with this dress so nicely. So for the Saturday day, I'm going to wear a dress that I've not actually got yet because it's currently being made by my boyfriend's cousin Ella. Her business is True Blue Designs and it's such a gorgeous small business. She's worked so, so hard and her, the clothes that she makes are literally amazing. And she's just been giving like some sneak peeks of her new collection that's going to be going live in a couple of days and I need the white dress from her in fact I need so many things from her new collection but I desperately need the white dress from her new collection I'll try and post a picture here if I can find one and, and pop it on the screen for you to see and I'll also leave a link down below so you can go and shop her pieces. When this video goes live actually Ella's new collection on True Blue will be live so definitely go and make sure to check it out look at all the new gorgeous clothes that she actually hand makes herself which I just think is amazing like I honestly don't know how she does it she's absolutely fab but yeah I'm thinking I'm gonna wear this white dress on the Saturday because I just love it so much I can't wait to like get some cute pictures in it and just stroll around Barcelona in the cutest little white dress and I think I'm gonna go with my brown June sliders for that day as well I feel like it'll match the white really nicely and maybe a brown bag I might have to like fish out a brown bag to go with the brown sliders but yeah I'm really really excited to get that from Ella's business and you'll see me wearing it in next week's Barcelona vlog. 
for the Saturday night I feel like I want to go a little bit more dressy with it being like a Saturday night in Barcelona I don't know I don't know like what the vibe is at all I don't know if people dress up or dress down but I always say to like all my family and friends you can never be too overdressed and I would definitely rather be overdressed than underdressed so I think I'm going to wear this gorgeous mint green dress from Abercrombie some of you might remember this from when I did a shopping haul a few months ago it's from Abercrombie I got it at the Trafford Centre and when I tried it on in the try on clip at home it was just hideous it was too big I'd accidentally bought the wrong size so I went back and swapped it and this fits perfectly now and I absolutely love it so you'll be able to see it in the try on clip anyway and I think I'm going to pair it with these heels the Valentino dupes and maybe my little nude YSL bag and I just feel like that would be so nice for a Saturday night in Barcelona I just love mint green at the minute and then that brings us on to the Sunday so I feel like I need another cute day outfit Probably another dress or a skirt because that's just what I tend to wear um, literally every single season. So you may have seen this dress in my video last weekend. It's my new dress from Hollister, but I feel like because I'm wearing a white dress on the Saturday day, do I really need to wear another white dress on the Sunday day as well? I just really love white dresses, especially in spring, summer time. They are kind of different styles and I could dress it up with different accessories, but I feel like I really do want to bring it because it's new but maybe I should wear it on the Sunday night instead with heels so it's like a different vibe but I absolutely love it so I definitely will bring it but I just have to decide when I'm going to wear it like at what point of the holiday I'm going to wear it if it's hot enough I feel like I'd also like to bring this cute little green skirt from Abercrombie I bought this literally in January and I've not worn it once yet but I think it's so so cute a really cute colour I love anything pleated and tennis skirt style like this so if I can find a cute white top to go with it, I feel like I could wear this with like some little cute white trainers or even sliders, but I feel like trainers would really suit this vibe, especially for like a city break look. I might bring this just for like options. I feel like just with like a plain white top, plain white trainers could look like quite cool, nice for like a day look. Then maybe like the white Hollister dress for an evening look with some heels. I feel like that could work for the Sunday, so... Yeah, I'm going to bring that as well and like at least I've got options for when I'm there. I feel like I've got to bring a pair of jeans just in case like the weather could literally be torrential rain when we get there and I've got all these like cute short mini dresses and then what on earth would I do? So I feel like I've got to bring a pair of jeans and a few tops to go with these jeans. So these are just my staple like mom jeans from ASOS, really good colour. I'm really picky when it comes to the shade of blue on jeans but I feel like these ones aren't too light, they, they aren't too dark, they're just like a nice shade of blue denim. And I think I'll just pack a range of different tops to go with the jeans if I decide to go for a jeans look that day. I'll show you this one first. This one I showed you last week. It's from Hollister. I feel like I'll probably want to wear this one just because it's new. This paired with the blue jeans and some white converse would be like quite a nice, cool, like relaxed look for a daytime. But I also feel like this with the jeans and some heels would look really nice for an evening look because you don't always have to wear dresses and skirts for an evening look. I feel like I could actually do that actually. The jeans, the top and the heels I feel like would be a really nice evening look. See, this is why I need options. It just depends how you're feeling on the day. Like, that's why I need to take it all and then when I'm there, I'll know what I want to wear on that night or that day. I'm also just gonna take this cute milkmaid top that I got in the ASOS haul a few weeks ago. And then I think I'm gonna take a few long sleeves as well. These are both from Abercrombie. Love this mint green one and it's just a little bit more fancy because it's got these cutout bits here. You've seen it before on my channel. And this one is also from Abercrombie. Just really basic, but it's got the little buttons up the front as well so I'll take all of those and then at least I've got options. I feel like I want to take more dresses I've got so many new cute dresses that I got in the ASOS haul that I'd love to wear I feel like this one will be so cute for a Barcelona city break and this one as well I love the little tiered like design at the bottom I think it's really flattering so honestly when I've packed everything if I've got the space I will pack more clothes just to give myself some options and then I'll probably wear my jeans for traveling home on the Monday with probably one of the long sleeve tops just for like a nice comfy look for the airport and then you're comfy on the plane as well so yeah nothing too dramatic for the Monday flying home I'm just going to take one pair of pajamas just because we're only there for the weekend so I'm going to take these silk ones from Victoria's Secret I really really love the color of them 
nice neutral pinky like champagne -y kind of color and I really love the black edging that it's got on it as well so I'll be packing just one pair of pajamas so I don't take up the whole case I don't think I'll need a dressing gown but I'll probably pack my Victoria's Secret kimono just like to put on in the mornings and things in case it's a little bit chilly and I also need to go and pack a swimsuit as well because our hotel has a rooftop pool and I think we're going to spend a few hours by the pool at some point over the weekend also nearly forgot my sunglasses and for me, sunglasses are a funny one. I really hate sunglasses marks on your face. Like I absolutely can't stand them because once they appear, you can't get them off again. So I literally try so hard to avoid wearing sunglasses for as long as possible. But I really love how they look on your head when like you're walking around on holiday. I just think it adds like a bit of extra detail to your outfit. So more often than not, you'll see the sunglasses on my head rather than on my face. I'll also be bringing my Bridgerton book for the plane, The Duke and I. I'm about a third of the way through and I'm really enjoying it so far just because I'm Bridgerton obsessed. But yeah, I'll be bringing that for the plane. I'll also be bringing like my laptop and headphones and things like that, but I'm not gonna like bore everyone with like the essentials. Obviously I'll be bringing toothbrush and chargers and socks and essential things like that, but I don't need to go into too much detail for this video. So that's the end of the video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the compact with me and seeing which bits I was taking on my city break. Let me know if you like these types of videos and I can do them again for my summer holidays in July and August. I'm now gonna go and make the case look much better because I kind of just thrown loads of things in. So I'm gonna go and organize it and try and make everything fit in the case and then anything extra I'll put in my little carry bag. If you don't already follow me, head over to my Instagram, which is at Florally Home, where you'll find things probably all to do with Barcelona currently. As, like I said at the beginning of the video, when this video goes live, I'll be in Barcelona. So if you want to see what I'm up to, go over and give me a little follow. Please leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know which bits you liked from today's video. Let me know which bags were your favorite, which shoes were your favorite, what are your favorite outfits. And I will see you in my next video which is going to be the actual Barcelona vlog my first travel vlog which is so exciting and that's going to be going live next Sunday thank you so much for watching everyone and I will see you next time bye